latest episode of Cooking with Auntie Kit. Today we're baking a cake. Will you help me pick up some of the ingredients? You will? That's great! Yay! What's happening? They're introducing a minimum wage, did you hear? What's a minimum wage? Do you know what's a minimum wage? Who are you talking to? A minimum wage is, is a minimum amount of money an employee needs to pay an employee. Who are you talking to, John? <laughs> right. Anyway, do you know what this means? It means I won't be exploited by the rich people anymore. And I can finally earn enough to support myself and my family. Mitch? Yeah? How much are you making? About 1,500 now. Why? You're already the sanitation manager. Isn't that reasonable? No. Anyway, it doesn't affect you. You're earning way above one thousand dollars. What? I should get it. I'm getting like what? Eight hundred. But at least I work hard. You just sit around and. What in the place is going on around here? Looks like Mr. K is grumpy. Maybe we can help bake the cake to cheer him up. Who are you talking to? Anyway, I'm upset enough that I set a minimum wage. We're literally burning through all our funds now. We're gonna prepare for increased inflation. That means we're gonna have to have put our extra cost into our product. And everyone, everyone's gonna complain. How are we gonna keep everyone employed now? Well, I for one think it's a great idea. I mean, it's definitely gonna be a morale booster for my team and considering those guys in storage work so slowly, I think it'll be a boost in productivity. I think that this minimum wage is going to reduce Discrimination against local workers. Excuse me? Do you guys understand what he's saying? Me neither. Hmm. It says here the minimum wage only applies to locals working in the cleaning industry. Oh, really? Okay, so what ingredients do we need in a cake? Flour, eggs, milk, baking soda? Mitch, you're fired. And tell the boys in storage to pack the desk. What? Oh, we'll need a cake. It's nothing personal, Mitch. It's just that we can't afford to raise our prices anymore. K How supermarkets can't afford. Mr. K How, will you mind us borrowing some ingredients for our cake? No. I mean, yes, of course I mind. Do you know how much profit we're losing every day? I mean, but sir, where are we going to find jobs? I can't be unemployed again. My wife, my kids. I've already paid you enough, and you're still complaining. You and the boys are doing terrible jobs. But. I but I barely have enough to support my family and feed my kids. I haven't had a promotion in 3 years. You've had work fair. I'm not 35 yet. I don't get work fair. Then you should have gotten a degree. But- But we need to make the cake! Who's we? It's for the kids, boss. Oh, hey, let's see you there. Sure, you can have all the ingredients you need. Really? Yep, but try not to pick the local brands. Yep. They're probably driving up the cost of that stupid minimum wage and stuff. It's not stupid. Why, you little... Well, that's all the time we have today, kids. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Who are you talking to? Oh, oh Mitchell. Mitchell. It's not stupid. Why, you little... Will you help me pick up some of the ingredients? <laughs> hey kids, this is Professor Chris. So what have we learned today? Firstly, minimum wage can lead to unemployment due to an surplus in the labour market. What this means, kids, is that the supply for workers is greater than the demand for workers and the legal minimum price PM. But wait, kids, where's my graph? Have you seen it? Oh wait, it's here! Employers will hire less workers due to an increase in the cost of workers across the labour market. This will result in unemployment. Minimum wages can also lead to increased cost of production, which will in turn lead to inflation. You will eventually end up with a wage price spiral. And that, kids, is a bad thing. Did we say that minimum wage is a good thing? Well, it is for those who are already employed and who will continue to remain employed because they will receive higher wages and this should allow a more equ equitable and fair distribution of income. Well, that's it for today, kids. And oh wait, last questions. Sorry, too late. I've got a firm competition to win. <laughs>